Kia ora. Bula, bula banaka, malo e lele. We've had a very busy quarter since the last report of the Territorial Strategic Mission Plan. We've celebrated 25 years of service in Tonga. We've enjoyed the ministry of the Pasadena Tabernacle Songsters of the USA Western Territory. And we've been deeply involved in the 24-7 prayer ministry involving social justice. Since the Congress, the Poi Rural Corps has been very actively involved in the Territorial Strategic Mission Plan. With the use of sermon material and media, they have experienced significant growth. We're at the moment doing this Dynamic Disciples series because we really believe that it's important that within the Salvation Army we understand our responsibility to have a vibrant, dynamic lifestyle, you know, where, where what we live is reflective of what we believe. And the Salvation Army has provided some great resources to help us with that. It's been really neat to have had an enrolment of um, five soldiers and three adherents as part of that series who are um, wanting, to, wanting to stand up and make a public declaration of their commitment to, you know, to the Polidura Corps. In May, Gospel High School in Fiji played host to the 300 plus delegates and leaders to the Fijian Youth Councils. The theme was time to be holy, time to serve. And guest speaker Lieutenant Jeffrey Miller challenged everyone to live holy lives and to be set apart. There was vibrant worship, teaching and workshops, plus plenty of time for the mandatory volleyball and rugby. In June, the territory invested in sending 26 officers on a study tour that followed in the footsteps of the Apostle Paul through Greece and Turkey. We are looking forward to sharing the fruits of this investment. Good news, since our last update, the divisions have reported the enrollment of at least 83 new soldiers in the territory. 34 of those in Fiji, 24 in the Central Division. At the time of our last update, we were very busy with teams from around the entire territory working on the front lines of Christ Church. Although the visiting teams have stopped, the outreach continues with locals providing a targeted response. We expect this support to be required for a number of years to come. The stress being faced by the people of Christ Church cannot be understated. Many living in broken homes, trying to decide what to do next while still facing constant aftershocks. Please continue to pray for the people of Christ Church, especially our own Salvationists and staff who are trying to help others while facing the similar issues in their own lives. In May, the Manukau Corps organized a boys weekend away at the Blue Mountain Adventure Center. The boys were matched with men from the Corps and together they completed a range of outdoor challenges in their big bro, little bro pairs. This was an excellent opportunity to encourage and mentor our younger generation, and many of these relationships are continuing. In the last days of June, the Tonga region had a special focus on spiritual leadership and discipleship for officers and senior locals. Two training events were held in Tonga recently, an officer development day in which we focused on stepping up to a new level of leadership. And then we had a day uh, with local officers building a culture of honor and persisting through pain barriers. And there were goals that were set and we really believe that there's gonna be great things happening in Tonga as a result. Teaching children has always been a vital ministry of the Salvation Army. However, CORE are reporting difficulty in finding good curriculum and in training leaders. The children's ministry team have recently identified a fantastic curriculum called 252 Basics and negotiated a territory-wide deal for accessing it. I believe there's nothing out there as good as this. The topics we're talking about are real topics um, and then you're able to relate it back to the Bible like today we had courage. And all the scriptures are there um, and a story that talks about courage, a Bible verse that talks about courage and then the games that are all interrelated about courage. It's great. I'd never go back. <laughs> to anything else. <laughs> the name 252 Basics comes from Luke 252, where Jesus grew in wisdom, in stature, and in favor with God and all the people. Much of the work in this territory could not be completed without quality leadership, and in particular, the ongoing need for new officers. I and the leaders in the territory are so grateful for the numbers of people who are putting up their hands saying, God is calling me to officership. And we thank God for them, but we need more, and we need more right now. The average age of officers in this country right now is 50, 
and it doesn't take too much to work out that we're going to be in trouble within a few years. Over the next several weeks, there will be a special emphasis on the self-denial appeal. I would ask that you and your family prayerfully consider giving one week's salary on missionary service so that others might simply live and have the opportunity to hear the gospel message of Jesus Christ. Thank you for all you're doing. And in the months ahead, let's keep our focus on the four strategic priorities.